everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm actually testing a foundation out for you guys um, I've been so excited to try this out I've seen a lot of people use it but I've just been waiting for it to go on sale um, and it finally did at shoppers and I snatched it up as soon as I was there um, it's the super stay better skin um, foundation by Maybelline so in the rest of the video you'll see my thoughts and everything on the foundation, how it applies. So if you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, just keep watching. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and moisturized my face. Um, I've used the Garnier Skin Active. Um, it's like a gel. It's for normal to combo skin. So I wanted to do everything that I would normal normally do with um any of my other foundations with this to give it a fair chance and i'm super super excited to try this out um i forgot to dampen my beauty blender so i'll be right back okay sorry um so the foundation that i'm oh, doing is this um super stay better skin skin transforming foundation and it's an oil-free foundation so I'm super excited to try this. I've heard a lot of reviews on this foundation, um, like on YouTube and like a lot of people like rave about this and I'm just trying it now. I've been waiting for it to go on sale. So it finally went on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart and I'm super excited to try it out. I've been waiting so long. I'm excited to try this out for you guys today and let you know my opinions. Um, I kind of have um combo skin right now it's a little bit more dry just because of the weather but in the summer my skin's extremely oily like oh i'm gonna read some of the claims on this little guy here so this foundation has 12 shades i'm in the lightest one i believe yeah 10 porcelain ivory so i'm in the lightest one but they have a bunch of shades here but yeah they have a bunch of different shades this one is Pretty sure, but it has a 4.1 rating um, on the Maybelline website. It retails for $14.99. Say so long to spots, dullness, and unevenness. And hello to brighter, more even, and stress-free looking skin. Sounds cool. So, what it is... Super Stay Better Skin Foundation provides all day flawless coverage and improves skin over time. That sounds interesting. So benefits. Ideal for normal to sensitive skin. Maybelline's oil-free skin transforming foundation features um, acetyl C that helps to achieve better looking skin in just three weeks. Ooh, I'm so excited. Our fade proof formula won't transfer and looks just and looks just applied all day. Oh my god. Okay, this is like sounding so amazing. I'm super excited. I mean, every foundation you read is going to sound amazing. But like this one's just getting into my feels. I'm just going to use half with my beauty blender and then half with a, um, a brush. And if I don't like the brush, like if it gets streaky or whatever, I'm just going to go with a beauty blender. And I'll also see how it builds up. I'm just super excited to try this out. Like, I've seen everyone. Casey Holmes did it a really long time ago. Um, there's a few other people who have tried it out. So I'm super excited to try it out for you guys. And if you haven't seen a review on this one yet, then that's awesome. But I'm definitely excited to do this. And remember, this is my first time wearing it. I haven't even, like tried it out at all so my review could change let's get in to actually trying it out for you guys so I'm gonna prime my face as if I would use any of my other foundations so I'm gonna go in with my elf this one is the poreless face primer it's my first ever foundation review for you guys so I'm so excited oh I wish I had a headband where's my headband I don't know where my gold one went now that I've done that, I'm not going to, like, do my whole color correcting kind of stuff, um, like, at all. I'm just going to go in with a Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Just looks like that. Okay. Now, let's get into the foundation. So, yeah, um, I'm in 10 Porcelain Ivory. Comes with, like, a little pump. I'm super excited. I love pumps, so... And it's like a glass bottle too actually so I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand 
<gasps> it's like medium. It's like kind of runny. Ooh, but like, you know, like thick. I don't know. It's not super watery. So I just put a little bit on my hand. Well, kind of a lot. And I'm just going to do beauty blender on this side and the brush on this side. So let's see. Okay, so it's like a kind of, with the beauty runner at least, it's kind of like sheer, like it's not like really full coverage, like at all. Um, it could be buildable, like I'd say this is light coverage, I don't know why I thought like, be, like people's reviews make this, like it looks like it's like full coverage, I don't know. It's really like light coverage, like, like my redness is all still peeking through here. It does feel really hydrating. I don't know if that's my beauty blender because I just cleaned it, but it feels really hydrating. It's like sticking to like my dry spot like here. I don't know, it looks kind of weird like there. It's not covering like anything. Okay, let's try the brush. I'm gonna have to put like more. I'm just going in with like a stippling brush like this here. Okay, the brush is giving me like a lot more coverage. Whoa, it looks really, I think this is a little too light for me. So the brush definitely gives you like a fuller coverage. Like definitely, like my redness is peeking through on this side but not so much on this side. Um, and like you don't use as much product with the brush to be honest. I'm really not liking how this looks on my forehead, like, at all. I don't know if you guys can see that, but, like, oh, I don't know if it's just, like, not going with my primer or something, but I'm not liking this. Like, if you had really dry skin or, like, really, like, a lot of acne spots, it just, it would, like, stick to them. Why is it doing that? So, I'm going to put, I'm going to see how it builds up, on, especially on my cheek. And I'm going to use the brush to do that. And then I'm just going to kind of smooth over it with the beauty blender. I'm just going to kind of stipple this one. Okay, so it is, it is buildable. Definitely. I'm going to try to build it up on this side with the beauty blender. Okay, so it builds up with both, however you want to apply it. It does build up. Finish is kind of like, looks kind of dry on my skin. Um, like, it's not glowy, but it's not like super matte either. And it's really light for my skin. So I'm going to have to bronze my face out because I look like a ghost. Okay, so once I went over it kind of with the beauty blender, it um, looks a little bit better. I don't know if you guys can see. I have to go over it on my nose. My nose is still a little bit red, but... If you guys can see that, I'm going to kind of like just show you how it looks like on my face. Like on my cheek area. I do not like how it looks on my nose. Like I'm going to be honest. Okay, it looks really good in like my far away mirror. So like probably for you guys, it probably looks like really good. But for like in this like magnifier mirror. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. But like this mirror, I look, it looks horrible on my chin. I don't know. I don't know. I just want you guys to see. I don't have any blur thing. Like, I'm using a phone to film this. So, there's no, like, blurring. Anything like that. I'm going to see how this thing wears. I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup with, like, how I would use all my other, like, makeup products with my other foundations. And, I mean, some foundations you have to play. Like, I want you guys to keep this in mind. This foundation could be really great. Like, but, you like, used with other products. So you have to be very careful with what kind of products you will be using because sometimes like a foundation like it doesn't work so well with another um, product and that causes it to not like that's why I don't like first reviews because it could be really good and I'm excited to see if it does kind of help with my skin so and I'm liking it from far away like it looks really really good. And it kind of like went down a bit like it doesn't look as white I, it kind of blends with your skin actually so that's a really good like that's a plus for me so i'm gonna see how it works with my the rest of my um skin products and get that all on my face i have a lot of writing around to do 
Today I have, I'm going to a bunch of basketball games to go watch and cheer for my friend. So, um, I won't be, like, touching in until later. It's 5.53 right now. Um, yeah, I'm doing this really late. So, I had class today. So, I will be back, like, later, see how it wore throughout the day. I'll try to leave it on as long as possible. I won't be able to touch in throughout the rest of the evening, but I will definitely come back and touch in with you guys at the end of the night, let you know my final thoughts and if I gave this a thumbs up or a thumbs okay, down. Okay, everyone, so this is like the finished look once I put um, all my other products on top of the foundation. I feel like it looks pretty good. Everything went on really smoothly. The foundation actually didn't get as cake, like it wasn't as like splotchy looking like as it was when I first applied it. Um... It's not really, it doesn't look like it's sticking to any of my dry spots anymore, so. Um, and it also went down a little bit, like, um, it went with my skin tone. It wasn't as white as it was when I first applied it, so it blended down a lot. Um, I'm really liking how it looks. Like, my face looks really, really good. Like I said, everything went on top of it really, really easily and blended really, really well. Um, I'm excited to see if this also helps with my skin, like it says in the claims of it, but... So far, this foundation is um, doing really good. Um, has a thumbs up so far from me. I'll let you know if I get oily throughout the day um, when I do a little touch in when I get home later. But right now, I'm really liking it. Um, so I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, everybody. Um, so I'm back from the basketball game. Um, the team that I was cheering for won, so pretty good. I'm super happy about that. Um, so I did go to eat um, pitas. So Keep in mind, that's why it kind of came off my chin, um, because I got sauce, like, all over my face. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, this foundation, um, is pretty, like, it's stuck up, like, held up really well. Um, when it was going on at first, it looked really, really cakey, like, just because it was sticking down my dry spots, but it, it actually stopped doing that. I don't know if it was because of spraying with my primer, or sorry, my, um, finishing spray, I don't know. It looks really good on my skin. It got a little bit darker, but it, it ended up matching my skin anyways because it was really, really light at the beginning, if you guys remember. Definitely wear the skin. I want to try it again with like maybe a different primer to see if that was maybe why it was sticking to the dry spot. I didn't get oily at all where I do get oily. That's one thing. Like I have not blotted at all, and there's no shine on my face like where I get oily. I get oily like in the T-zone, and there's nothing. Like my It like actually held up pretty good for not being like a matte foundation. Um, I had higher expectations for this, to be honest with you, just because of everyone saying, like and talking about it on YouTube, like they all love it, like this is one of their top five drugstore foundations. Um, it definitely wouldn't be my top foundation. Definitely will try it again and I can let you guys know in one of my videos, just like kind of say it or mention like how it's doing or like if I'm wearing it or whatever. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my video. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe right down below by pressing that red button. And you will get more Thank you. Bye.